A mass cycling protest is taking place in Westminster ahead of a Commons debate on how to make London's roads safer. Campaigners are calling for more facilities and space for cyclists. Our transport correspondent, Tom Edwards, is on the South Bank where the protest is, uh, looks like, just about to start, Tom. Yeah, lots and lots of cyclists here, probably thousands. They've come from all over London and the queue stretches right down the road here behind the Royal Festival Hall. What they all want is more space on the roads for cycling. I had 14 ribs broken, my lungs were punctured, uh, my neck had two bones broken in it, uh, my collarbones were broken, my thumb was broken and I had uh, internal bleedings. Dag Lindberg has suffered life-changing injuries. He was using a hire bike on the way to a modelling casting when he was in collision with an HGV. I don't think it's safe to cycle in central London, basically, anymore. Um, I think we need uh, proper cycling lanes, basically. Totally separate, total separation from uh, heavy good vehicles. He's not alone. Campaigners also want more space for cyclists and they want it quickly. They also want existing facilities upgraded. This is a key east-west bike lane, but the surge in the popularity of cycling means, as we saw, there are now many near misses. It does it definitely needs um, completely re-engineering um, to suit the number of cyclists that use it and probably more would use it if there was more space. At the moment they're probably going on other roads that are less safe. Today City Hall announced a shortlist of boroughs that could get more cycling funding. It's still though not enough, say critics. And the Mayor's Cycling Commissioner says those protesting have to be realistic. I think people have been brought to this demonstration under false pretenses. The organisers are saying that Boris Johnson has, quote, ignored the public's clamour for safer cycling. Now, that just isn't true. We're spending a billion pounds to meet the public's clamour for safer cycling, the first fruits of which a segregated track in Stratford you will start to see in two months' time. We have a huge amount of money going into this uh, project and a uh, huge, huge number of projects on the, on the go. Sacrificing road space to cyclists won't please everyone, but that is the mayor's policy. The big challenge now is delivering it. Now let's speak to Tom Bogdanovich from the London Cycling Campaign. Has he got a fair point, the mayor, a billion pounds? Isn't that enough? A billion pounds is all fine if you talk about it, but I want to see it. I want to see it out on our roads for kids like him. Ultimately, it's about the future. It's about the future of kids. And in Holland, 50% of children cycle to, to school. Here, next to none. So the gripe is what? About the pace of the delivery of these new schemes? Absolutely. We need things implemented now. We need every single road scheme needs to be of a decent standard. Everything that goes in, not stuff like it's going into the Olympic Park, Quickly, for example. Are politicians listening, do you think? I think politicians are hearing at long last. But listening, I want them to really hear and take it in and actually do something. Okay. That's what's important. Tom Barrett, thanks very much. Well, this demo's due to start any minute. It'll finish 8 o'clock. Back to you. Tom, thanks very much.